Good morning and welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. This morning we got a fun deal that we're going to start a new series on our show and tell Monday. So over the next four Mondays we're going to be doing a show and tell and it's going to be a question that we keep getting asked on moto camping and uh, taking your dual sport. I've had several people ask me about uh, some bags that are affordable. So that's what we're going to be going over today. Good morning and again, thanks so much for tuning in to Heartland Dual Sport. Like I say, recently we've received a few requests on packing a motorcycle for a multi-day trip and, and I've had people say, hey look, you know, I know you guys are planning on going to Alaska and, and uh, you're doing the multi-day out-of-state trips, but what about for a guy who just wants to go camping for the weekend, maybe take his kids out, maybe take his wife camping, but they're not necessarily going to be traveling across the United States or, or doing something like that and, and they're wanting to know how they can get into it. Number one, how can they figure out if they even like it? Because you, you do start getting into quite a bit of expense when you start talking about moto luggage. So the, the big question is, how can we get started in moto camping and, and doing that kind of stuff on a smaller budget and then after we decide, yeah, it is for us, then maybe we want to step up into some of the more expensive bags and stuff like that. And we have actually got a treat. We've been contacted by Viking Bags. Anyways, we've been contacted by Viking Bags and I agreed that we would love to do a series of videos. I didn't want to just do one video on their, on their tank bag. I wanted to put together a series of videos that would be fun for everybody that you could see. Hey, here's three things that are reasonably priced that would get you into the sport of moto camping going out and doing your own little adventures without costing a, you know, a thousand dollars to get there. So today what we're going to do is starting with the first show and tell Monday of the series of three and then we'll actually do the fourth one showing you all the luggage loaded down. It's going to be this Viking tank bag. This is a magnetic tank bag. Again, it's made by Viking Bags and Angie's going to kind of zoom in on it. She, it's a pretty awesome bag and, and I keep moving it around a little bit so we're, we're trying to adjust the camera. She's doing a great job over there. But as you can see, you've got a nice small spot right here. That'd be perfect for keeping maybe your wallet, your ID, maybe a credit card, maybe your car keys, something like that. So that's nice. You've also got this is the top of the bag. And it comes with a rain cover, so if it starts raining or whatever, it's going to be uh, easy to keep your stuff in here dry. It also comes with some straps that you can kind of turn this into like a little backpack, if you will. And then you've got the tiny pockets right here. I'm just kind of adjusting the camera a little bit. But as you can see, you've got the zipper pocket here. And this, I like the little mesh pockets because that way if you put something in there, maybe some loose change or something like that. And that, again, in the front, loose change is perfect for when you're going through pay tools, that type of stuff, if you end up encountering any of that. And then you've got another small pocket here that would hold something really small, and then a place for pins and markers, maybe even a little flashlight. And then on this outside, you've got a removable mat, mat pocket. So to get into the map pocket, it's got another zipper here. Put your map in there, you can put a cell phone in there. You can put whatever you want. I'll let her get a couple pictures real quick. We're gonna also be posting all this stuff on our, on our website for you guys. We're gonna have the actual model numbers and links and prices where you can order your own. But again, this is a 14 liter bag and it is a tank bag. It's magnetic, so if you got the big metal tanks like what we have, it just mounts on there. I'm actually pretty pleased with that. That's not bad at all. I think you could also use this as a tail bag too, guys. It's big enough you could use it as a tail bag. Again, it's got the it's got the little clips here to where you could use this with the batch pack straps and strap it down to your bike if you need to as well. So there again, this is a 
It's a Viking tank bag. This is the large one. The zippers work okay. And, and I do like the, uh, yeah, this side actually zips up. Probably be best if you put your zippers in the middle, but they do go all the way around. It's hanging up on that one little spot right there, which is to be expected. It's going to happen from time to time with zippers. I, I've had the same thing happen with my client pants. The zipper on it will hang up every now and again. So the quality of the zippers and everything look really nice. Again, guys, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. Again, this stuff is made by Viking Bags. We're going to be doing a series of videos on how you can plan a moto camping trip yourself on a budget. With, with We're going to end up doing the tail bag, saddle bags, and the tank bag, and then we're going to load them out for you in the very last video, which will be video number four. Again, if you like our video, give us a big thumbs up. As always, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. Be sure to check out our website for more information. It's uh, www.heartlanddualsport.com. And as always, may you have a blessed week.